Hi, Collective. Hey, guys. Welcome back. I'm Divinely Destin. Welcome back, honey. Welcome back to another video. Uh, oh, happy day. If you have a little time today, go study up on the planets. Go see the current planetary alignments if you have a little time. I know the moon is full in Sagittarius. The sun is in Gemini. Okay. I believe Jupiter okay he's currently in Gemini go do some research if you have time today okay go study up on your different chakras yeah I believe Jupiter okay you definitely want to know where he's located okay he's the planet of luck and expansion luck fortune okay you want to keep up with him yeah I believe he's gonna be in Gemini for the next two years okay mm-hmm so I have a general message I don't know what's gonna come out we're gonna find out together please like the video Share the video, okay? Yeah, subscribe to the channel. Wow, I see the planet Venus. Mm hmm You definitely want to know about the planet Venus, especially divine feminines, okay? Okay, divine masculines, inquiring about their wives, okay? Future wives, soulmates. They definitely want to uh, know what's up with the planet Venus. They want to know that, okay? You would want to know that divine masculine, okay? I see the six of six of pentacles. I see the six of pentacles. That's our heavenly father. And I see 131. That's our heavenly father. You may watch this video at 1:31 a.m. Yes. The number 1 represents uh our heavenly father, the masculine. God is the masculine energy. Mhm. Mm yes. Wow, I'm picking up on the movie The Lion King. Okay, that may be your favorite movie. I see Cancer Energy, 69. Cancer season may be significant here, okay? Mm-hmm. You may be a Cancer, your soulmate may be a Virgo. Yeah. Our Heavenly Father has set you apart. That's what 6 and 9 is saying, okay? 69, that's, that's what God is saying. I set you apart here. You're independent here. Yeah, you get, you get your wealth. You get your prosperity and you get your abundance from our Heavenly Father, okay? Don't get it twisted. Don't mistake it, okay? No one gets credit for your success. God has um, cultivated you and he's given you the tools necessary to be successful. He gives you the willpower, okay? He, he aligns things for us, okay? Yes, God is going to get the victory here. He's taking credit here for your success or you should give him credit for your success. God is going to make you successful. He made you wonderfully and marvelous, marvelously. Okay, there's, there's no mistake in it. Okay, you are a success. You're his child. Period. 1967 is here. 1997 is here. And 1976. I feel like those those are crucial time frames, or those were certain, those were crucial time frames in, in terms of the different placements planetary alignments period 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 i see the fifth house the sixth house the ninth house the seventh house yeah leo energy virgo energy libra energy okay gemini energy is here happy birthday gemini celebrating your birthdays yeah you may have went through a financial hardship okay it wouldn't be uncommon you may currently be going through financial hardships uh, financial difficulties some sort of blockage to your finances or you know you're being cultivated okay there there's a process there is a process okay if you want it to last if you want it to be sustainable you got to understand that if you're allowing God to lead you then there's going to be a process and you must trust the process okay just be patient okay there are there there's definitely strong indication of Willful acts intentionally committed by others that didn't want to see you have a, a good financial standing. That energy is here. I don't want to do a lot of talking about it, but it's here. You may be a May, May Taurus. I see the May the second, May May second Taurus. Okay, Taurus season, um, crucial time frame in the year 2024. We we are officially in Gemini season. Okay, so things are moving. God says keep up. I see that uh, things are going to be rapidly coming in okay period yes i see the ten of swords god is on somebody here okay god is not playing about his child here you see this knight of swords with the ten of swords 
if you were targeted financially by someone that did not want to see you be prosperous and abundant and they are now facing the effects of financial hardships it's just bound to be and something about will smith will of fortune the planet jupiter i'm telling you there's a husband here there's a very success successful uh man here period yep god has made this man successful literally he was made in god's image okay just pure perfection he's not perfect because he's in the body okay but he's more than equipped and you know capable because god has made him to be yes think about will smith the will of fortune you know the planet jupiter that's masculine energy all day that's destiny and fate it's something about the fate it's something about the 10th house the work and the career of a particular male okay today this could be a divine masculine here especially with a divine feminine showing up so most certainly there's a divine masculine here period mm. i see the 10th house yeah somebody could have target targeted you in your work sector okay yeah possibly sending you to evil eye trying to hex you curse you okay try to bind up your money block your money something is here okay yeah there was a betrayal regarding money i channeled this yesterday okay geared towards an empress geared towards a emperor here mm -hmm. somebody wanted to block this successful being okay or someone very intentionally and willfully did did things in the background to cause a blockage there was no mistake in it you see the two of wands i see the two of wands and i see the page of wands it looks like somebody is still in the background today they're a fool making plans to still cause uh problems okay being still being problematic towards an empress still being problematic towards a emperor wow somebody has a real issue with you okay they got a real issue with god period because they're, they're trying look they're trying to stop god's plan here if they're trying to uh, slow up your money then that's interfering with god's plan dang i see the six of swords yeah you may have had someone here uh you could be someone here that's in a public eye okay substantially wealthy well known okay very abundant here wow the six of swords with the will of fortune is somebody going in the spirit on you the will of fortune represents the planet jupiter i just talked them up here <laughs> okay and i see the planet mars action and energy okay and i see the moon energy here feelings and instincts yeah especially with the knight of swords yeah somebody did some sort of manipulation here okay spell work okay evil eye project projecting channeling dark energies uh overall feeling negative and envious towards a abundant individual okay this empress is very beautiful. This emperor, okay, very handsome. He's fo focused. He's serious, too. Your divine masculine, uh, he may wear glasses. He may wear a lot of shades, hats, okay? Take the message how it resonates. Mm-hmm. So there's... Okay, so there are some people here, collective. Remember to take the message how it resonates. Yeah, it's it's kind of like you were intentionally and, and maliciously and meticulously, meticulously, <laughs> meticulously target, targeted in your 10th house. The 10th house. The will of fortune backs it. Your career. Okay. Wow. Yep. Look at the temperance energy. Sagittarius energy. Wow, you could be pregnant here. You may be meant to be. You're fertile, you're abundant, you're prosperous, you're fearfully and wonderfully made by our Heavenly Father. There's just no mistake in it, okay? I'm hearing what will be, will be, and what God has for you will be. Period. Somebody needs to leave well alone, well enough alone here. Okay, they're 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 barking up the wrong tree here, especially with the tower. God is gonna protect his his baby. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm trust your instincts listen to your trust your instincts and listen to your intuition at this time 
Okay, if something don't feel right, baby, it just don't feel right. It's just not feeling right. It's just no, it's, it's no coincidence why something doesn't feel right. Okay, if you know you're doing everything in your power with the help of our Heavenly Father and your spiritual team, okay, at some point you should start to question it. You have to. Why isn't nothing coming in? You know, the Wheel of Fortune, he could represent like a five-year cycle, a 10-year cycle, 15-year, 20 years, okay? You see that wheel right there? At some point, okay? And then you see the Queen of Pentacles. At some point, there should be some red flags or your attendance should definitely go up. If you know you're, you're doing everything to make progress and you, you feel like, Damn, after five years, ten years, there's still nothing coming in? Don't feel ashamed for questioning it. Okay, don't doubt yourself for questioning it. Questioning it, okay? I feel like there's a lot of throat chakra magic being done currently under this full moon energy. Solar plex, solar plexus is being targeted and also uh, the sacral has been targeted or is currently being targeted by these people here. I'm also seeing the crown, the crown chakra. There's something about washing your crown with coconut water, okay? Cold water. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anoint your head with oil, okay? Do whatever you need to do to feel safe and to feel uh, secure. Always trust God, okay? He know what these people got going. He know what they're doing. He know their tactics. It's like somebody's trying to cause this Queen of Cups to miscarry, Okay? She looks to be like three to four months pregnant here, two months, okay? Yeah. She has the elixir right there. You can't take it. She's adorned, okay? She's adorned, period, by our Heavenly Father, okay? You may have gained weight. You may have gained weight, okay? Yeah, and that's okay. You, you fight spiritual battles. You need extra weights. It's just naturally the way it's designed, okay? It's also very likely that glamour spells were done here, okay? There's a lot of stuff here, but I see a lot of heavy money magic here. A lot of interference concerning the collective's finances here. Somebody owes you an apology. And money. You, you're never gonna get the energy back, okay? Well, you're not gonna you're not gonna get the time and the energy that you put into, uh, you know, a situation that turned out not to be of your highest good, okay? You just gotta forgive yourself and move forward, okay? You are adorned. You got the emotions right here, okay? You got the emotional intelligence, emotional sensibility, emotional power. Okay, you also are very grounded and, you know, you have that, the Queen of Pentacles is a businesswoman, okay? Think about a bank manager, okay? A bank teller, okay? The Queen of Pentacles is someone that is a lender, okay? She's not a borrower, although if she borrows, she's able to repay, but normally she would be considered a, a lender, very financially stable, okay? She has a, a, a wealth mindset, okay? She's goal-oriented. Okay, they're about their damn business here. So why, 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 why is, uh, what's going on? Yeah, well, what's going on is someone has intentionally set their intentions to cause the blockages here. This could be a family member. You could be at the dentist's office today, okay? That, that could also correlate with a throat chakra, okay? So take it easy, collective. Drink a lot of water, okay? Pray, talk to God, do what you need to do. You may be feeling highly sexual at this time as well. Okay, you are an adult. Please be careful who you are uh, allowing yourself to be connected to in that intimate way. Whether that's, you know, on a spiritual level, on a physical level, okay, be careful. There's no joke. So I see the 10th house twice. It's something about your work and your family, okay, that someone has made a target here. This could be somebody in your family, too. Or this is somebody's family member that done this. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody's trying to trip up a high priestess here. <laughs> They're trying to trip up a high priestess. 
Yeah. Dang. You're here, you're here, literally. I see the star card with the tower. The star card, the tower, and the ten of cups. It's something about you being a healer, okay? Healing your bloodline. Healing your bloodline here. Dang. You were given a specific task, okay, by God here, period. And you already know what it is, okay? Yep. And somebody's been interfering with you here. Wow. Perhaps you came to break poverty off your bloodline here. I'm picking up on the movie, The Titanic. That may be significant for you. There's something here. You're meant to have wealth. You're meant to be wealthy. You're meant to be comfortable in whatever financial bracket you are comfortable in. It's just facts. God gets the credit here, okay? Because he's going to see it through. He's going to see you uh, be having your wish fulfillment because he's going to give it to you. He's already granted it to you, okay? If it's in his will, okay? Period. And I feel like it's in his will. I feel like this is in his will right here. I feel like this is in his will. Yep. You could have got left some money. Okay. You have an inheritance. Somebody could definitely leave you an inheritance here. I feel like God, God has given you an inheritance. Yeah. Go study Abraham. Abraham is the father of many nations. You are an heir of Abraham. So that is a, a inheritance. Dang, you may have uh, apostles that are part of your spiritual team. Ascended masters, okay. Prominent individuals of the old time, okay. Certain disciples are here, okay. Period. Dang, why are you? Why you got the ten of wands? That's not your burden. That's a burden that someone has intentionally and willfully and meticulously and consciously chose to place upon you. You're so beautiful and, you know, handsome and radiant and you're doing your best. Yeah. I see the seven of pentacles. You could be a Taurus. Taurus cancer connection. You guys could be twin flame soulmates. You could be a cancer man, cancer woman that has been targeted here for a long time. Somebody's been targeting you, okay? Specifically your money, okay? Your family sector. This could be somebody that, uh, once again, that is in your family. Someone that you have a family with, okay? Somebody has definitely been targeting you. The energies don't lie. I see cancer Virgo connection. This could be a Cancer, Virgo, soulmate, twin flame connection. And the Taurus individual could be the one that's been behind the scenes uh, trying to bring about catastrophic endings towards these individuals' destiny here. Dang. The Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands? That's unacceptable. It's unnecessary. That's Sagittarius energy. The Nine of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Temperance. There's a Sagittarius uh, High Priestess here that's a healer, a gifted healer, shaman, that's been chosen by our Heavenly Father to break certain generational traumas and curses on the family's lineage that has been targeted by someone here. I see the Tenth House three times. It's about great pressure here. Pressure to provide for yourself. Pressure to provide for your family. Maintaining your stability throughout the madness and the chaos. And the obstacles. And the challenges. And the trials. And the tribulations. It's almost like somebody wanted to put you through some sort of test to see how you would overcome it here. And that's really, really sad. But. I feel that energy. I mean, if they're doing things to block you. Clearly, they're putting you through a test, right? There's something about Prince Charles. I believe it's, he's King Charles now. Princess Catherine. Okay, the royal family. I've been channeling Prince Harry all year. Okay. 
This could be related to old money. I'm telling you. Generational wealth is here. Something about the bloodline is here. It's so sad here. Just continue to persevere. Keep going and, 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 and keep persevering. Period. Don't stop. Don't quit. Don't you stop. Don't you quit. I see a July the 9th cancer. July the 10th. Cancer man, cancer woman that was targeted as well. Look at the Ace of Pentacles. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. You were chosen by God. Okay? You were. You are chosen by God here. So you know. Okay? Wow. I see the planet Mercury here. The planet Mercury is about communication. Okay? Mm-hmm. Go study up on the planet Mercury if you have a little time today. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I see the Ace of Cups. It looks like somebody was given an opportunity to have mercy and grace. Okay? They were given an opportunity. They didn't... Somebody missed out on something here. This person or these people could be mad that you did not miss out. Okay? You're being called not to miss out on your blessings. If there's there's something you feel like you should be doing, first of all, ask God to show you whether or not that's what you should be doing. Trust me, the angels will confirm it. There's no mistaking it here. Somebody refused their calling. Maybe they were too drunk or too materialistic and too stuck on themselves to see that they were missing out on certain opportunities here. Or, or that they were squandering certain opportunities here. Okay, that is not your fault. That is not your problem. It's just not. Dang. This person will not leave you alone too. They won't stop antagonizing you, putting pressure on you, or causing things to be stagnated for you. Or, or as of the last four hours, four weeks, four days, four months, they have been on your trail here. Who this person is, I see a relative so far. Okay, or somebody's relative. They're guilty. We have that full moon currently once again. Don't sleep on the full moon energies. Very potent, powerful time. Don't try to utilize the full moon energy to do negative things, okay? God know we're not perfect. Okay, he knows we're not perfect. But we damn sure should not be out here being uh, malicious. Okay, knowing damn well that, you know, we don't have good intentions. Yeah, God knows that. We should not be doing those things. But nonetheless, God forgives us, okay? But he's going to judge us, okay? There's no debt in the universe that goes unpaid here. It's just it's just facts. God will balance the scores out in his universe. That's how it goes. His infinite universe, period. I see the conscious mind and the ego. That represents the sun energy. God, God's energy. Okay. Yep. The conscious mind and the ego. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's a lot of people that miss out on certain opportunities and blessings that God has for them. Because they are so in their ego. Okay. They think their way is the best way. And no one can tell them anything different. Okay. It's their way or the highway. Even when the angels are literally giving you, like, strong indications that they're trying to give you something, they're trying to be helpful towards you, or there's there's strong cautionary energy that they're trying to get to you. If you're not paying attention or if you're refusing to see it, then you're going to miss certain things. Some of these people clearly have just literally... Uh, it looks like they've been blatantly ignorant towards certain things that they were supposed to do here or that they could have done here because they chose to be malicious and dark, perhaps. I don't see this person being in the lights. Okay, I don't see these people being in the lights. Although love is all around. It's just facts. Okay, don't choose to be willfully ignorant. Don't choose to be willfully ignorant. Don't do it. I see the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, with the World card here. 
This person has their eye on something that don't belong to them. You can't just walk in uh, Mark Jacobs and, and just walk out with one of his designer bags and think that you're not going to be stopped by security. Okay? This person just can't walk in your energy and think that, that your security team is not going to be alerted to the fact that they're there trying to steal. It's like a jewelry heist. Okay? All this money, all this radiance, all this magnificence. Okay, all this beauty, all this glory, all God's grace and mercy is all over this message. But this person is refusing to see it. Or these people have thus far refused to see it. All they see is the money. All they see is the gold, the opportunities, the material things. He's got something here that, he, that just does not belong to him. He's even looking at it strange. Okay, or she, or them, or they. Or this could be his imagination, thinking about how he can end something, and 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 take it from you. Okay, or to block you from having it. There's money magic here. It's just facts. Wow, I see the Ace of Wands. There's a masculine energy here that's guilty. I see six masculine energies that may have been targeting you, uh, targeting your stability here. Wow. It's like he has something that don't belong to him, or she has something that don't belong to her, or they want something here that don't belong to them. They should not have their eye on it. It's not theirs. It's not theirs. It's not yours. It's not yours. This person is a thief. They are a full-fledged thief. The Seven of Wands backs me. This person could have been targeting you between five and seven years. I see 21 years. They may have been stealing, okay, being problematic, okay, being treacherous. And they wonder why they don't have any blessings, okay? They wonder why. They're arguing over this, okay, this item that this man has in his hand. Okay, they're arguing over that. Why are they arguing over that? It does not belong to them. This person is trying to stand their ground to something that is just not theirs. It's very indicative of this person having something that they've already taken from you here. This could be time, love, energy, money, okay, opportunities. They've already gotten something here. This person is trying to stand their ground to hold on to it, keep it, okay? It's a father figure with the king of cups. It's a mother figure with the queen of swords. This could be a couple here that's been antagonizing you, stealing from you, being treacherous towards you. Do they know? Do they not know? I'm hearing, Father, Father God, forgive them for they know not what they do. With the Eight of Swords. They're trying to restrict you here. And they're trying to stand their ground for this. This person is... Wow. This is like kidnapping, okay? Invasion of privacy. All kind of things I see here, okay? Take the message how it resonates. This person is trying to hold you hostage or, or or to hold something that they've taken from you hostage. Or this could be a mindset, okay? You know, the Eight of Swords, it looks like she's all bound up here, but she's able to get out of that quite easily. It's something they don't want you to see here. Yep, that's what this is. You're free, okay? Whom the sun is set free is free indeed. Yeah, they're trying to keep you stuck in some illusion, or at some point, they were. I feel like this is current energy. It's about your Ace of Pentacles. The number 78 confirms it. You may not even think about this person. You may not even know this person exists on the planet. 
this weird energy it's weird as weird as energy man You may like Coca-Cola. You drank Coca-Cola. Sprites. I see the Four of Swords. You may have been born in 1984. This person is trying to call... This person is trying to have power and dominion over a earth angel. That's what this is. They're trying to dictate control a earth angel. Or at some point they were trying to do it. You cannot control God's baby. Get that shit out your head right now. Look at the Four of Swords. It's something that they're refusing to put the rest with the world energy being here, with the four of swords. It's about your stability and your abundance. I feel like this person has been stealing your energy, alchemizing your energies, manifesting quite nicely, utilizing your energies. They may have been kicked out of your energy for the last five to seven months, five to seven weeks, or they have been hiding five to seven weeks, five to seven months, five to seven years, stealing from you in the background. You see 84, that's an abundant individual that has a spiritual inheritance here. It's like this person sees you as like a gas pump here. Okay. They're not paying for gas. This person is siphoning your energy, siphoning the gas, driving off. Or they were doing that at some point. They could be conjuring here. Okay. This could be a conjurer, a root worker. Okay. They may practice necromancy. This person is very dark. These people are very demented, very sick. I'm hearing the word soulless. Your name may be Nancy. Yep. Yeah. I see the page of pentacles. This could be the father of your child, the mother of your child. They somebody baby mama, they somebody baby daddy. Mm-hmm. Look at the ancestors. This could be a relative in your family. This could be a mixture of different people here. And this could be one group here that has been trying to suck the soul and the life out of an earth angel here for a financial gain. It's sick. Look at Archangel Gabe. Thank you, Archangel Gabriel. We really, really appreciate your love. Archangel Gabriel been calling it out. He been calling it out. He sees them. He's been calling it out. You may be in Delaware, Massachusetts, New Hampshire. You may be having a seafood boil today, okay? You love crabs. I'm picking up on Maryland, okay? Boston. You may have a Boston Terrier, okay? A boxer, German Shepherd here. You may have a few, a few goldfish. Yeah, I see a very clean person. Man, you clean, you clean, period. Dang. Your intentions are clean, or they should they should be. Our Heavenly Father knows we're not perfect. But I see Archangel Gabriel, man, he's been calling it out. He's calling it out today. Somebody is still up to no good. Somebody's trying to cause somebody is trying to cause a tsunami in your life, first of all. And they're trying to call power and dominion over you. You belong to God. Okay? First and foremost. They're trying to uh, reign supreme here. This person probably can't even wear a condom. How are they trying to dictate and control the earth angel? It just don't make no sense. These people are low life. I mean, it don't get no lower, it don't get no lower than this. They can't control the damn zipper of their pants, but they're trying to control the earth angel. There's a group here. This could be a husband and wife, baby mama, baby daddy, or a witch and a warlock that belongs to an organization, okay? They do this shit for a living. But why they been on your ass so long here? I see five to seven years. Could be longer. 15 years. This person has been repeatedly taking from you or setting their intentions to cause you to take a loss. Essentially taking from you. You got children to feed, okay? You got a business to run. You got bills to pay. You got a life to live. This person wants you in some sort of bed as an invalid where they could just come and suck and just drain from you. But Archangel Gabriel, baby, Archangel Gabe, he's been on it. He's calling it out. Thank you, Archangel Gabriel, period. 
Mm-hmm. He see what they talking about. I see. I see the page of wands. The, the page of wands is here. Okay. The page of wands is letting me know. That's that's telephone calls. That's WhatsApp messages. That's Facebook messenger. That's emails. Okay. The powerful, magnificent Archangel Gabriel. Okay, Gabriel. He's aware of it. He's aware of these fools. He see the plans they're making. He sees exactly where they're going today. He sees exactly where they're walking, where they're driving, where they're located. He sees exactly where their heart is at. Their heart is uh, that whether where their heart well where your heart is is where your treasure will be found, right? Well, it's it's correlating with money here. Okay, that's their heart. That's that's what that that's what the motive is. God sees them. I mean, I don't understand why they don't understand that. They don't care. There's something going on with these people here. The sun card next to the two of cups. Where they going? Baby mama, baby daddy, witch, warlock, and a child here. Okay, the witch could be pregnant here. They tried to be witchy. Okay, uh, enchant you. There's Michael. <laughs> I see Archangel Gabe. Archangel Gabriel and also Archangel Michael. They're here. Michael is the king of pentacles. Okay. Michael been cutting holes in his pocket. You see the seven of swords? Okay. You don't see the, you don't see Archangel Michael's strategic plan here to ensure that your money is dried up. Okay. You don't see his meticulous plan being very effective. I'm pretty sure they do or eventually they will collective. Their money is being dried up like a prune. Okay, the opportunities to get the money, the opportunities to keep the money, the opportunities to make the money is something that Archangel Michael has specifically been doing lately regarding the collective's enemies' finances, period. He's cutting holes in their pockets. Mm -hmm. This is somebody from your past. Somebody you haven't seen in six months, two years, seven years, three years, six years. They could be older than you. They could they could look horrible. They could look really, really bad at this time. They may have been aging horribly. Okay. Yeah. He's a king of swords in the reverse. Okay. You know, the king of swords in the reverse is a relentless narcissist that's cold-blooded. They just don't care. Okay. They don't... This person has zero... They give they 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 got zero fucks to give. Okay, they know exactly what they're doing. They're robbers, they're thieves, okay? <laughs> and they have focused their eyes on an earth angel. Bad for business because God is not going to let you get away with hurting her. God is not going to let you get away with hurting him. Okay? Period. I see uh, a masculine energy that has aged horribly. He could be 38 years old. He target you for your finances here. That's the overall message for today. It's about your money, your abundance, your stability. He could be feeling fatigue at this time. Okay, low on energy. Okay, ask Archangel Michael to uh, get your energy back. Okay, call your power back. Okay, call judgment down on your energy, your blessings, your life. It's my blessings, my divinity, my mission, my purpose, my blessings, my abundant father, my abundance, Father God. Through your grace and mercy, I have been given it and I call judgment on it. And I want it to be where it's supposed to be with me. Okay. With us collective in Jesus name. Amen. Yeah, I see the planet Uranus. This is a rebel here. Okay. These people are uh, rebels. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm hearing they're institutionalized or they have a criminal mindset. Regen regenerate or uh, what do they call it? A reject. Okay. There's a lot of pain and healing that they just refuse to acknowledge that needs to be acknowledged. And there's nothing you can do about that. Okay. They definitely have been targeting the solar plexus, the sacral plex. Okay. The solar plexus, the, the sacral chakra, uh, the crown, the third eye, and the throat chakra also the roots okay these people have been targeting certain uh divine ones for a long time okay man god ain't playing with these people he's just not wow you're a queen of cups i see it twice here you're the king of cups dang mm-hmm wow 
while you're sleeping, they're doing spells. They're incanting can, in shit and uh, whatever they do, okay? While you're sleeping, okay? That's what they've been doing behind the scenes. They have been studying your verb chart or they have been studying you or at some point they were meticulously watching you. There's something about this person has uh, no intellect, okay? Or it's something about their intuition being all the way just wrote off they lack common sense common sense will tell you uh, what you're doing is wrong okay your mother taught you that when you were two years old okay when you got on a damn hot ass stove and you burnt your foot okay so they know right from wrong they know common sense will tell you that's not your money that's not your opportunity those are not your blessings that's not your path that's not your divinity that's not your person. That person don't know you. That person don't want you. You're disgusting. I mean, you know you can't compete where you can't compare. You know she would never date you or she would never date you again. You know he doesn't want you. Common sense should kick in. Okay, it should just kick in. But they clearly lacking it. You know you've been trying to sabotage this woman. You know you've been trying to make this life, this man's life a living damn hell. Okay, it's like common sense. They lack. Wow. It's like a creepy old uh, man that stalks, stalks you. Okay, this creepy old man has been stalking you. Yeah. Creepy old woman. I'm not really sure, but hey, take it out of resonates. I see a couple here. These, this couple, man. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing the son of Sam. I believe he was a killer back in the 80s. Okay, that could be significant. The Zodiac, the Zodiac Killer, significant. He he antagonizes he antagonized the cops, the Zodiac Killer. I believe he was sending letters to the news station and he wanted to get caught essentially. There's something going on with these people, man. Yep. A lot of these people have a death wish. Okay. With the tower. Next to the sun, yeah. That's what our Heavenly Father is saying. They got a death wish or, you know, wishing death upon his child was not the smartest ideal they ever had. God don't like evil. He tells us that. He does not like people that plan mischief and, you know, hands that run, the, that are quick to run to shed innocent blood. Okay. These lovers, I'm telling you, you may have had different lovers over your lifespan that have been violent, okay, stalked you, okay, that has meticulously done things behind the scenes to cause you to be paranoid or have some sort of fear or worry. You may have had more than one lover make you feel like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see the Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. They're in a the poorhouse, or they will be. They could be at a shelter today, looking for shelter, okay? Or eventually they're gonna need some sort of shelter here, okay? Because Archangel, because Archangel Michael is not playing with their finances here. Okay, collective, I'm not gonna make this much longer. Let's go ahead and wrap it up. Let's go ahead and wrap it up. Collective, please use protection. We are in the full moon energy. <laughs> Don't play around with that, okay? These, this, these full moons, potent, potent energy. Okay, yeah, you're a sweetheart. I see the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups three times here. Somebody wanted this Queen of Cups to be stuck, stagnated, weighed down, captive. I'm telling you. Yeah, at some point they may have been obsessively watching you, holding on. Okay, they could still be today. This could be an ex-lover as well. They're guilty. You already know who this person is. Or you got, a, you got, you got some suspicions about them. Okay, you're not sleeping with this person. You have never slept with this person. You haven't slept with this person in a long time or you would never sleep with them again. This could also indicate you have withdrew your sacred energies from this person, okay? Perhaps at some point they had access to your uh, very divine energies, okay? Yeah, you were better off walking away from them, pulling your energies back, okay? You were better off. They are very dishonest, okay? Tricky elusive or they were with you that's why you moved on that's why you withdrew that's why you pulled back or that's why you will pull back that's why you will move on okay the lack of intimacy the lack of 
uh, anything. It's very obvious here. They didn't put much effort into you, okay? Or the effort that they were putting into you was, it was very, very uh, one-sided or, or self-serving here. They are lustful, okay? Yeah. Yeah. This is about your sexual energies here. Looks like they party a lot here, okay? Mm-hmm. They've been partying, partying, part. Somebody's getting a pardon here. They've been wanting to pardon. They want God to pardon them. This could also indicate an inmate is getting a pardon, okay? Keep an eye out, okay? Especially if you know that, if you keep up with executions and that sort of thing, okay? Yeah, but they've been having a good time, okay? Partying with their friends, okay? Mm-hmm. Living it up, possibly, with your good-ass divine energy. Yep, only you. This person made you a, their sole target and focus. You're not receptive towards them. Your heart is not open. You're not vulnerable or attached. You don't feel anything for them. You have emotionally healed. Or you are. Or you will. Okay? This person is superficial. Okay? It's like nothing up top. <laughs> You're not fantasizing about them. You're not imagining uh, being in their arms. Or at some point, you won't. You're going to heal and you're going to move on. Okay? Period. Yep. Look at that. Look at the time energy. You're going to move on. Mm -hmm. This person pushed it to the limit with you. Okay? Period. You broke up with them. You left them. Or you don't want nothing else to do with them. They still have been in the background stealing from you. This person is a narc. Okay? Arrogant. Stubborn. Okay? Ego driven. And something about the conscious mind here. This person could be unawakened. Period. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much stalking that they that was done here okay but it looks like it's a lot of it here they played a lot of games with you this person may have communicated with you very infrequently okay maybe once every two to three months two to th two to three years okay or it may have been a barrage of text messages phone calls emails okay voicemails continually want continuously wanting to know where you are at who you're with what you're doing okay accusing you of things perhaps take the message how it resonates yeah mm-hmm this person is losing out big time okay yeah so it was something that they were gaining materially here by stealing from you a lot of people don't know that this person is like that or they may have been hiding it from a lot of damn people here that they are a common thief Okay, look at the lack of financial stability here and gift. When you left, okay, when God kicked them out of your energy, when you pulled back your divine energy, they started taking losses, okay? They were sustaining themselves uh, through you, through you, through you at some point, okay? I feel like you could have helped this person. Okay, you could have helped this person. You know, our Heavenly Father, he says a queen, okay? Think about a woman, okay? <laughs> a woman has an amazing ability and power that only God can give her. A woman can get her man, okay? She can get him seated at, the, at palaces, okay? She can get him seated at, at the dinner table with pharaohs and kings, okay? Queens and palaces, okay? Yeah. Don't underestimate the power of having a godly woman. No woman is perfect, but when you got a chosen woman of God, baby, that's a huge blessing, Okay, I feel like you could have helped this person, but instead they took advantage, okay? Or they took advantage of your generosity and your help. Take the message how it resonates. Yeah, you, your patience ran out with them. You filed for divorce, okay? You declared uh, irreconcilable differences because of the conflict behind the scenes. Perhaps this, perhaps this particular situation got messy and it, it came out in the public with you and, with you and this person here. Okay, this person could be uh, highly jealous and envious of you because you are in the public eye. You are in the public eye. Okay. This person doesn't want to lose out on certain opportunities, uh, certain uh, certain things they have been afforded, afforded by being connected to you. And they have been giving you hell because of it. Yeah, this is your baby daddy, baby mama. Okay. Leo season could be significant. Mm-hmm. This could be a female. I see a couple, okay? Oh, boy. There's a very dark, twisted-ass feminine energy. She's fake, and she's toxic. 
okay it's about divine feminine's energy her innocence okay her 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 poor heart here that a dark toxic feminine energy has certainly been trying to uh copy okay she's been trying to mirror you okay period wow and this is just sad okay you could be engaged today your ex could be mad about it still okay i'm pretty sure they are okay congratulations on your engagement period wow this person wanted you to be feeling some sort of conflict or at some point you may have been feeling a lot of it okay period i'm hearing that it's going to be a lovely day okay yes go listen to that song bill weathers and also kurt franklin okay they both have a song called lovely day yeah you have encountered this person in a previous lifetime perhaps Mm -hmm. i feel like you are divorced from them you've broken up with them you've healed from them or eventually you will heal okay it's just what it is that's how it goes out here okay you've asked god to help you heal or you should okay yeah you may have somebody else here okay that has an interest in you that adore you okay but you may be apprehensive and you wouldn't be wrong here your heart has been shattered okay your trust has been broken it looks like you just want to relax here solo okay you're not intentionally hurting or intentionally setting your intentions to hurt no one okay yeah your heart is not to be caged it, it, i see a single person here okay yeah their heart is their treasure okay their heart is a precious treasure that they are guarding they are guarding protectively period wow mm -hmm. yeah yeah Perhaps this person cheated on you and, you know, you didn't know that that's, you know, that you were a mistress on the side or perhaps they had their intentions set to make you their mistress. The chemistry you felt was explosive. Okay, that's undeniable. But they are lust driven. Okay, mm -hmm. they may struggle with addiction here. Period. Partying, addiction. Okay. Take care of yourself, collective. Mm-hmm. It's something about washing your crown your crown chakra here okay you may be a libra here look at this full moon energy there's no confusion there's no confusion our heavenly father will only give us confirmation yeah this person gave you a lot of confusion okay a lot of trouble or that was their intention i see sex magic here mm -hmm. on a celibate person <laughs> Okay, you don't desire to have sex with this person or you don't desire to have sex with them anymore. You may not even think about him or her anymore. Mandy Moore could be significant for you. Okay, they have been doing sex magic on a celibate, abstinent woman here. Mm-hmm. This could be a toxic feminine that has a connection to a divine masculine that has been doing sex magic in the background. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's what I see. She's definitely getting karma for that. Looks like she's been looking at his pictures, feeling in some sort of nostalgic energy, possibly doing picture magic here. It's love spells, sex magic, picture magic, okay? The mother of his child, okay? She's somebody, baby mama, okay? Somebody he was married to, they could be divorced. Somebody that is trying to get him to marry her, okay? Pay attention to the synchronicities, divine masculine. He knows about her. She's a manipulator. Look, they broke up. Look, look, she's drinking, coping. She's drinking. That's her way of coping, I guess, divine masculine. She wants you back here. Once she wants reconciliation. Yeah, she could have long black hair, long brown hair. Yeah, looks like divine masculine has been avoiding her. Yeah. He hasn't been happy with that particular person. Okay, looks like she's insecure here. She has a lot of bad habits. She's she's a bad influence. Okay, look, around the wrong people, unhealthy relationships, engaging in unhealthy habits. That's why Divine Masculine was not happy with her. Okay, she's a bad influence. Engaging in unhealthy habits. I see a lot of drinking here. Okay, she's deeply insecure. She could be homeless today, Divine Masculine, okay? This could be somebody that, you know, that has an interest in Divine Masculine as well, okay? Looks like she's a fan of his, okay? This feels a little bit more 
more closer than a fan. It looks like they had some sort of relationship here because she wants revenge. Okay. On this very single divine masculine. They could have been married. Okay. This could be his ex-wife. Baby mama. She's stressing. Stressed out with the communication that they're having or the fact that he's let it be known that he was moving on. Okay. Period. Divine masculine is pretty cool here. Okay. He has an image and a reputation that, uh, you know, he is, he is our Heavenly Father's son here, okay, period. She wants to talk to him. She wants to know where he's at or she's been keeping up with him or they have been communicating or corresponding, okay, that's their business. Or she could be exhausted with the lack of correspondence and communication. Mm-hmm. Wow, I see picture magic, sex magic, love spells. All kind of stuff. She's deeply insecure. She could be studying spells here. Okay, she could just be studying uh, different ways to get this masculine to come home. Yep, getting tarot readings done here. Abusing divination. Looking into crystal balls. She want to know where he's at. That's what this crystal ball is letting me know. With the change energy, where is he located? She could be looking into a crystal ball to see where he's at. Or trying to, she's crying, she's crying. Okay, she could be a witch. Mm hmm. She definitely has long black hair, long uh, brown hair. She may be uh, surprised that Divine Masculine was serious with her ass this time. Okay, yeah. He said what he mean, he said what he mean, and he mean what he say. He moved on. He said he was leaving, he actually left. It's something about Google Maps. She could definitely be trying to find uh, specific things. And it's kind of like when you think about Google Maps, okay, you know, if you leave your trash on your porch, Google Maps can pick that up, okay? So it's little stuff like that that she could be trying to see in the background, okay, to locate him. She could be asking certain people about him, okay? She could definitely be traveling, okay? to get information uh, on his whereabouts. I see the number 49. She's not happy with the results that she's been getting pertaining to his whereabouts or the lack of communication from him or the communication that she's getting from him. And she's mad, okay? Period. Wow. San Francisco could be significant for you. Yes. Divine Masculine is keeping safe here. He's keeping safe, you see? He's been hurt over this situation. Looks like she's been hurt. It's, it's a delicate situation, especially if there's a marriage, okay? You guys have children. Quite naturally, there's going to be emotions. Deep emotions, okay? We're not, we're not being uh, insensitive towards anyone's emotions. That's what we're not doing, okay? But we're not going to give these people passes either, okay? Period. They are divorced. There is some sort of plans for a divorce. There is some sort of breakup here. There is some sort of separation. Or uh, there is some sort of inevitable ending here. Or the possibility for it to be is very real. Okay? Period. She wants to know who he's with. Okay? Who he's taking out to dinner. Okay? Who's, who, who he's having dinner with. Yeah, she has some sort of obsession here. And she's feeling defeated because of the lack of progress. She's not going to uh, be victorious over God. Okay, you may like Victoria Beckham, David Beckham. Think about how long they've been married, okay? 15, 15 20 years, something like that, okay? These, this divine masculine and this karmic, they could have been married for a long time here. 10 years, 11 years, okay? 15 years, 7 years. She's not going down without a fight, okay? But she needs to heal. Divine Masculine needs to heal, too. Divine Feminine needs to heal. We, we all need to heal, okay? Trying to bring about endings and catastrophes for people that don't want you is just not going to help you heal. It's, not, it's just not. It's not beneficial or it won't be beneficial for you in the long run. It's just not. She wants him in a poorhouse. Yep. They can have one child together. 
It could have been a contentious relationship, lots of conflicts. They filed for divorce. Divine masculine could have left. I don't know who left first, okay? There's something about uh, divine masculine losing patience with the situation. She could have left. She could have left him. She could have been playing a lot of games, manipulating the situation in the background. She's full of pride and ego. Divine masculine said, you know what? That's enough. Enough is enough, okay? I gave it my all, okay? Perhaps I was hoping for something that just never was going to be, okay? Yeah. He filed for divorce. Perhaps she's partying a lot, being lustful, okay? Not being home, not being committed, okay? Not being stable, although she's married. Not being receptive, not being truly dedicated in her marriage. Or perhaps divine masculine wasn't. There's an imbalance. There's an incompatibility here. It's just facts. Some things are just not meant to be. They're just not. Okay? I see cheating here. There's a cheater here. Okay? Perhaps Divine Masculine was cheated on. He faces some sort of depression because of it. Perhaps he didn't see it. Perhaps he didn't want to see it. But she's always partying. Okay? She's so lustful. Okay? But she's not that way towards you. She's not receptive towards you. Okay? That's a strong indication of betrayal right there. Okay? She seems to be very shallow here, superficial, self-absorbed. This is this is giving me female narcissist all day. Mm-hmm. Love the fantasy, lustful way to get a man, okay? The fanatical, lustful route that female narcissists take to control a man. I don't know why women think that, that that's the way to keep a man. It's just not true. The only way to truly keep a man is a man that want to be truly kept. Okay, the only way to truly keep a woman is for her to really want to be kept here. Period. There's angels, ancestors that are watching over divine masculine here. Okay, I see child support here. Okay, that's some stuff that they have to work out. And that's their business, okay. But it looks like she's currently trying to locate him, okay. So I see an incompatibility. Okay, your divine masculine's name could be Travis. These two could have met on a dating app, okay? I'm hearing Tinder, okay? So just take the message how it resonates, okay? Divine Feminine, you definitely had someone that targeted you financially. This could be a fan of yours as well. Somebody that's seen you in the public eye, okay? They wanted that lifestyle or they wanted, they, I guess it's about the persona, okay? Some sort of image, they wanted it for themselves. I see feminine energies and masculine energies that were trying to take advantage of a divine feminine in the public eye. Okay? Trying to take everything from this lady. Period. Divine feminine could be single. Divine masculine could be single. Period. Collective. I'm not going to make this message much longer. Take care of yourself.